Uh, that doesn't look too glamorous trying to put my glove on, does it? I had a cool little piece of wisdom shared by a friend the other day, and it was that nobody has 10 years experience or 20 years experience. You actually have one year of experience 20 times. You get where I'm going with this? If you're always adapting and changing, then you have a lot of experience. Somebody who has 20 years experience, supposedly, and doesn't adapt or change really isn't going to be further ahead than somebody who has one year of experience 20 times in their life. So that's why some people race ahead of other people in experience in a shorter time, just because they dedicate themselves so much to that one year of experience 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, just a little piece of wisdom. Come right back, because I want to talk about this camera again. And I should tell you, I'm not going to talk a lot about specs in this video. I'm not a specs guy. I think specs are something that we can become consumed with. And I think it's what you do with the camera more than the specs. Obviously, you know the specs a little bit, but don't get obsessed with them. It's what you do with the camera. That's what I want to talk about. What I found that I love about this camera just in the short time I've had it. I thought the GH5's menu was really easy. Wow, the BMPCC 4K menu is like lightning fast. It's so easy and intuitive and just swiping. I mean, if you know how to work a phone swiping, you can swipe with this menu system. It is so incredibly easy, and I just love how you can change on the fly really fast. Using log has been like so amazing. I don't have that on my GH5, so this has been my first time getting into using log footage. And just when you color grade it, what a difference and flexibility that that gives you just to bring out those different colors and, you know, just the highlights and everything like that. Awesome using that uh, log footage with the B-RAW on my cinema camera. Something else I've discovered using this camera in the first month is it makes me more deliberate as a filmmaker. And what I mean by that is because the battery life is not great on these things, like 20 minutes for one battery, you got to keep changing. And because it doesn't have in-body stabilization, all those things are making me more deliberate about my shots, my planning, my setup, how I'm going to do it in a way that I wasn't doing that with the GH5. So that's one huge benefit that is helping me grow as a filmmaker. And when I rig this thing out, and I've tried a bunch of different rig configurations that I'm going to show you in another couple of weeks. I'm This is just minimalist right now. But when you have this thing fully rigged out, it really looks professional. You look professional. And as much as we hate to talk about this, there are times when you're on set with some clients, they expect to see all that fancy gear. And this looks really good when it's rigged out. It looks really professional, it looks cinematic. Not cinematic, it looks cinema. And I really feel that this makes me have a higher profile with my customers. And I hate to say that because it's just the way it is, guys, sometimes with some clients. And of course, the Micro Four Thirds ecosystem is huge for me. I have the GH5, so all the lenses I already have, I can use on this camera, which saves a ton of money in the long run. And it gives me a true cinema camera as well. And I paid $1,400 for this. Where can you get a cinema camera for $1,400? I bought this used off of eBay, off a Canadian seller. It's in absolutely mint condition. It's barely been used. And I paid more than $1,400 for my GH5 a few years ago. So just a great bargain to get into the cinema camera world. And I absolutely love it. Okay, that's a really short video this week about just five or six things that I found in the first month of using this camera. And I think in 2023, this is still an amazing value and an amazing camera. And it's going to be amazing for many years to come. Got a long shelf life. See you in the next video.